Uh, Your Excellency, the Right Honorable Prime Minister, members present, His Excellency's governors, I think mine will be very brief. As we have been told by the CS Yatani, we have had a meeting here, and members of the press, as you are aware, there was a Naivasha meeting attended by some of us, including myself. We have had a communique that included the issues that are of unique concern to the pastoral community. There was also another meeting. There was also another meeting in Nairobi here where members raised issues that really concern the pastoralists. And then there was another meeting in Parliament. All those issues have now been brought together, as we promised, presented to His Excellency the Right Honorable Prime Minister, Baba Raila Molo Odinga, and I'm sure he's going to consult his brother, His Excellency President Uru Kenyatta. The issues that affect the party, there's no, there's no doubt about that. But we have resolved unanimously to support BBI and raise our issues on the table, not outside the table, as Sam did in 1962. So never again will the pastoral communities be pushed out of the government for day-to-day -day politics of 2022 and later on allow ourselves to be governed by a constitution that we do not participate. It happened to the people of Northeastern in 1962, 1963, and we regret it. We want to confirm our support for BBI. We also want to confirm we have had a very deliberative discussion with His Excellency the Right Honorable Prime Minister, and I have no doubt in my mind that since over the years he has projected he has protected and he has presented the issues of great concern to the pastoralist community, including the introduction of devolution, that our issues will be taken care of. He will discuss with his brother. We have agreed to form a small technical team that will liaise with the technical team that has prepared this. And I have no doubt in my mind, the pastoralist communities will not be left out of the national conversation. At this juncture, I want to invite the chairman of the pastoralists and please members of the press who avoid us of doubt. BBG is not divided. BBG is here. Our chairman is here, our vice chairman is here, BBG is speaking with one voice, and henceforth what you report is the position of BBG that supports BBI under the leadership of His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta and His Excellency the Right Honorable Prime Minister, and that is where we are going to have our issues engaged. So, Chairman Loitemanga, Karibu. Thank you so much. Uh, I think I want to, I want to thank, uh, I want to thank the, His Excellency the, the Prime Minister for giving uh, an opportunity to discuss to discuss the issues that we are we are deliberating concerning pastoral community. When we had a meeting in Nairobi as VPG, we are we are not against the BB, uh, BBI. We are actually just raising issues that concerns us, and I think we are very grateful. We are very very much uh, happy that uh, that we 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 have been listened to, and we we want to uh, thank the Prime Minister for doing that. We want to continue to continue discussing the way my colleague has just said we want to put things on the table we want to support bbi because that's why we can uh, reap some uh, some some benefits uh, you want to no, not necessarily so the, the issues that uh, we we want to agree and i think we have been listened to and we want to thank uh, the honorable prime minister the issue of revenue allocation which he, which is really pertinent to us because from the time we got devolution we have realized that uh, uh, pastoralist counties have really gained a lot and we don't want to lose those gains. It's like we got independence after uh, the 2010 uh, uh, promulgation of the 2010 constitution. There's a lot of investment, there's a lot of um, employment now, there's a lot of development which has taken place, so we want to protect those gains. Two, we also want to, to say that equalization of fund, which has not uh, materialized so well, we want it to be extended to Another, another 10 years so that we can be able to, 20 years, 20 years. Then the issue of livestock, uh, livestock marketing authority is very critical for us. Very, very critical for us. That is our livelihood. And I, I want uh, to summarize to say that now that we have been given opportunity, we want to go there to our people. Most, not most of us are here, members of parliament are here, members of the National Assembly, they are here, they are represented. This was a short meeting. We want to uh, apologize for those ones who are not around here. We want, we want to say that in the next meeting, we will request that all of us be included, even those ones who did not attend the meeting today. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, I, I, I now want to invite the Honorable uh, His Excellency Ali Roba on behalf of the Frontier, this, the, the, the Frontier Counties uh, Development Council, second-term governor, 
you know, you know all other titles that please speak <laughs> on our behalf. Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen of the press. As uh, shared by uh, the chair of PPG, uh, this is a continuous uh, a engagement we've had. Today we've uh, managed to share with uh, the Right Honorable uh, Prime Minister, Honorable Raila Amolo Dinga, the issues of concern to pastoralists. These issues are not political based, it's uh, generally issues that uh, touch on pastoralists. Other than what was mentioned by the chair of PPG, we have also shared the issues of community land, issues that uh, affect, uh, uh, you know, uh, pastoral such as uh, proposal of health service commission, the issue of mainstreaming pastoralism as uh, an economic activity that is worthy of being mainstream uh, within the current uh, arrangement. And uh, I think some issues were reported out of context, and it's important that the members of the press understand uh, we are sharing our concerns in order to make sure that we are as part and parcel of the communities in this country that we get our issues included. It's not the issue of opposition or other issues as uh, contextualized before. We are part and parcel of this government, as it is. President Uru Kenyatta has really mainstreamed, and all of you know the number of pastoralist pa cabinet secretaries, uh, uh, CSS and uh, PSS that are in this government of President Uru Kenyatta. In terms of development, we have also had our share of development in the region. Uh, what we have just discussed is mainly to make sure that in this national discourse, we are also part and parcel of the program that's ongoing. We are on the table to discuss issues that are pertinent to us, and it has been well received uh, by, uh, you know, the. the, the the, the, the representative uh, of the president, who is the core principal of BBI, uh, our brother, His Excellency uh, Raila, and they are not controversial. It's generally very basic issues uh, that has no controversy or does not disadvantage anybody in the country. It's just more about our issues that we feel needed to be highlighted, and that has been well taken. And we want to take the opportunity to tell our communities, the pastoral communities across the country, that we are on course and uh, you are fully represented to understand wherever you are that your leaders are representing you and the leaders that you've not seen here is just because of coronavirus we've had to call representative number of persons to share this issue but all the leaders are on board our engagement continues and we immensely appreciate uh, you know the opportunities previously accorded and uh, the, the attention that we got from uh, uh, the Right Honorable Raila Odinga, and we look forward to engaging further with uh, the principal, the president of uh, the Republic of Kenya, President Uhuru. Now, Thank you very much. Now, because, uh, now uh, Fatu, uh, we, will call, we will call his excellent, but because of gender, let's just have Fatuma Dulo as the last, and then we have to... <laughs> Leader. Uh, as a leader. As a leader. Sorry, I'm correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, agreed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let me say here. <laughs> can we? Yes, please proceed. Can we have one meeting now? Let me confirm to you here. We have had four meetings to discuss the issues of pastoralists, and in all those four meetings, we had the president and we had uh, Right Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga. Our issues are going to be taken on board. There is no question about it. Number two, uh, we as pastoralists, we have raised issues, and those issues will be taken on board. And again, BBI has a lot of gain for us as pastoralist communities. We cannot, as pastoralists, oppose BBI. We must be on board. We are in government. We must sit on the table and discuss and eye on those issues the same way other communities in this country are discussing those issues. So there will be no sideshows. If it is a matter of politics, 2022 will come. Na mtu. Lakini kwa hivi sasa, tuko kwa BBI, na sisi support BBI 100% lazima tuwakilishe wafugaji vilivyo katika haki yao. Asante sana. Now, before I invite the Honorable, Right Honorable Prime Minister, allow me to invite the leader of majority in the Senate to in turn invite the Right Honorable Prime Minister. Please, Honorable Bokisho, karibu. Asante sana. 
I don't have to say much. Everything has been said by colleagues that uh, the most important person to listen to now is the Right Honorable Prime Minister. Um, we are one, we are united. If you thought there were two groups, no more two groups of PPG. There's only one group. Number two, this is the, the correct report you need to give to Kenyans. One big report that pastoralists support PPG. BBI. The, uh, sorry, sorry uh, BBI. The entire region, the entire region supports BBI. And so without taking my time, let me use this opportunity to gratefully welcome Right Honorable Raila Molodinga to address us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the press, I want to be properly quoted. <laughs> Last week I addressed the Council of Governors and we had a very con cordial conversation with the Council of Governors. At no time did the governors give me any kind of ultimatum. Now I don't know where the media got this impression that I was given any uh, ultimatum. I was not given any ultimatum by the governors. So we want the media to, cor to report correctly to the people of Kenya. These are the representatives of the pastoralist community. Come from Loitokitok to Mandera, from Lamu to Lokichogyo, spread across our country. And they have spoken. We have had a very cordial conversation with these representatives. And as uh, Fatuma Dulu has said, this was the fourth meeting we've been having with them. And uh, there is uh, quite an agreement over many issues uh, here. The issues that they have raised uh, today, the issue of revenue sharing, um, then the issue of uh, equalization fund, uh, the issue of livestock marketing authority. Um, as you know, livestock is the mainstay of the economy of this region, of, of our country. And you say that some of those issues can and will be taken on board. And they have appointed a representative, three representatives from here who will actually sit down with the, the technical team to iron out some of those issues. But this document is meant to deal with the critical issues affecting our country. It has taken a long time. As you remember, we appointed the team in 2018. We received the first report in November of last year. Then they started the validation process, went again across the country, and again brought another report in November of this year. So it has taken two years on this, uh, uh, on this journey. It is a, a journey that is important and crucial for the people of our country, so that we can be able to unlock the potential of our country across the board. Um, these areas of our country are rich in many other things. Some of them are rich in mineral resources, some of them are rich in livestock um, um, resources. Some of them are rich in human resources and so on. So, uh, uh, tourism and so on. Uh, the issue of infrastructure is very crucial to this region. Because this is a region which has undergone historical marginalization from colonial period through post-independence era. And we want to change this so that we can unlock the potential of this region and, and be able to have growth centers throughout the, these other areas. This is the most important thing. So we are all reading from the same page. We are talking the same language. And we believe that through this process, we are eventually going to realize the dreams of the founding fathers of our nation, which will unite our people, will ensure that each and every Kenyan is equal. And each and every child born in our country is given equal opportunity to realize their God-given potential. This is the statement that we have uh, uh, had, uh, we want to release here. 
we are in total agreement with this, this, this group. And we'll walk this journey together as the people of Kenya. God bless Kenya. Thank you, Thank you so much. That brings us to the end of the press. Thank you so much. Asante. Thank you. Thank you. What is it? Speak up. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Thank you. Thank you so much. That brings us to the end of. Thank you. This must.